Hi, my name's Mark, one of the pastors at Trillium. I think the problem of evil is one of the big stumbling blocks that people, modern people at least, have in believing in God and, and coming to a life of faith. I mean, how can all that, all the evil that's done between people, all the, the cruelty and the pain and violence we do against each other, how can that exist when there's an all-loving, all-powerful, all-knowing God? I mean, how can God allow this to continue on and on and on and on? If there's no God, then I think the reality of pain and suffering needs no explanation. It is what it is. But if there is a God, some deep and powerful explanation is required. I was thinking this week that Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, could with one order destroy the world. He could just call up the general in charge of the nuclear bombs and unleash a, a nuclear attack against the West. And you know, our only defense against Russia's attack would be uh, a counterattack what we call mutually assured destruction. That's our only form of defense. In a sense, what we're, we're left to is to use evil against evil. And that often seems to be the human predicament. We use evil to battle evil. You know, the Nazis, you know, try to conquer Europe and we destroy them through the same means that they were using to destroy us. I, I see this played down into in a personal lives. You know, when someone's attacking us, we attack them back. Our only means of response often is when someone slaps us in the face, we just slap them back a little bit harder. When someone threatens us, threatens us with a nuclear bomb, let's just hope that our nuclear bomb is bigger than theirs. We've civilized this a bit. I mean, we've delegated our retributional force to, forces to people like the police, and we've delegated to them so that we don't have to do it ourselves. But what is the police's ultimate authority? It's their ability to compel us to do something that we don't want to do, even if it requires force. And that gets us back to the original question. How does an all-loving, all-powerful, all-knowing God allow so much evil to go on in the world? How can an all-loving, all-powerful, all-knowing God allow so much pain and suffering to go on in life? And I'm thinking this through a bit. And it occurs to me that an all-loving, all-knowing, all-powerful God would not use evil to defeat evil. It's, it's just simply against God's nature. But it wouldn't work anyway. It's a predicament as human beings that we're stuck with. We often try to bring about the good in life through evil means. But that's not how an all-loving, all-powerful, all-knowing God would go about it, it seems to me. From a Christian perspective, this is not what God has chosen to do. God has not chosen to stand up and above us in life, but has chosen to become one of us, mortal, fragile, frail, has chosen to endure the reality of evil alongside of us. You know, Jesus suffered a cruel and debasing death on a cross by an evil oppressive power system. He knows it inside out. And he, and he did it for a reason. That is, God intends to challenge evil from the inside of people, not from the outside. The real way of meeting the challenge of evil in life, therefore, is to change the human heart, to change us from the inside. That seems to be the plan of the all-knowing, all-powerful, all-loving God, to change us from the inside instead of taking on evil from the outside. The basic Christian witness is that God is love and that God wants to bring about a world of love. God will not use evil to bring about this world of love against God's nation, but it wouldn't work. You can't teach people to love each other through evil means. Evil never brings really much more than evil. It can never bring about the kind of goodness that we're looking for in life. That can only come through love. Only love brings love and, and the goodness that comes from love. It means the problem of evil in some sense has been given back to us. The means has been shown to us to meet the, the evil of life with the goodness that comes from love. And that's a gift that God gives to us. But it's hard. I'll admit that to you. It needs almost a supernatural intervention in us to allow us to have the capacity to meet the evil of life with good. Our temptation is when the world confronts us with evil, it is to meet it with an, another expression of evil. That's not God's way, though. Understand that. That might be our way, but that's not God's way of bringing about God's world of love. I wish God's love plan for the world would unfold a lot faster than it is. But it seems to me the holdup isn't at God's end. It's actually in our, our end. It's our willingness to allow God to change us in such a way that when evil confronts us, we'll no longer respond with evil, but we'll respond with love and the goodness that flows from it.